In this example, we are dealing with the following open loop transfer function. If this transfer function is to be used in a negative unit feedback loop, the question is, what is the gain margin if k equals to 5? The second part of the question is, if you want to achieve a gain margin of 20 dB, determine the value of k. So let's start with the first part. When k equals to 5, what is the gain margin? To do that, we need to evaluate this transfer function at j omega, determine the real and imaginary parts of the transfer function, set the imaginary part to zero to find the frequency at which the phase is 180 degrees. With that frequency, we'll be able to evaluate the magnitude of the transfer function and then determine the gain margin. When k equals to 5, the function can be rewritten as 5 over j omega times j omega plus 1 times j omega plus 4. And this can be expanded by multiplying these two poles, we have j omega, j omega times j omega is negative omega squared, and then we have plus 5j omega plus 4. We can now multiply j omega with the other part of the equity denominator. This gives 5 over negative omega to the power of 3 times j, negative 5 omega squared plus 4j omega. We can now identify the real and imaginary parts of the denominator. The real part is negative 5 omega squared, and the imaginary part is, in this case, 4 omega minus omega to the power of 3. To eliminate the imaginary part of the denominator, we can multiply the top and the bottom of this equation by the conjugate of the denominator, which is negative j times 4 omega minus omega to the power of 3 divided, of course, by the same thing. So now I can continue to solve this. We have a time plus b times a minus b, which gives a squared minus b squared. So the real part, we don't care. We are only interested in the imaginary part. The imaginary part is 5 times negative 4 omega minus omega to the power of 3 divided by a squared, which is negative 5 omega square squared, minus b squared, which is j times 4 omega minus omega to the power of 3. This is the imaginary portion of this expression. The real would be negative 25 omega squared divided by the same thing but we are interested in the frequency where the phase is negative 180 degrees. To calculate that, we only need to set the imaginary part to zero. So this now becomes zero. Zero times the denominator is zero. We are left with negative five times four omega minus omega to the power of three equals to zero. We have three solutions. One is omega equals to zero. This is not a valid frequency. The other one is 4 omega minus omega to the power of 3 equals to 0, which is gives omega equals to square root of 4, which is 2 plus minus 2 radians per second. Negative 2 is not a valid frequency, so the frequency is 2 radians per second. At that frequency, the imaginary part of the transfer function becomes zero. We can now calculate the magnitude of L j omega, and the magnitude is 5 divided by omega times magnitude of omega j omega plus 1 is square root of omega square plus 1, and the magnitude of j omega plus 4 is the square root of omega squared plus 4 squared 16. We can now evaluate this transfer function at 2 radians per second. So the magnitude at 2 is 5 over 2 times 2 squared plus 1, square root of 2 squared plus 16. So this gives 5 over 2 square root of 5 square root of 20. 
Now that you have the magnitude, you can calculate the gain margin. And the gain margin is negative 20 log of this, 5, 2 over square root of 5, square root of 20. And this should be around 12 decibels. So when k equals to 5, the gain margin is 12 decibels. This means that you can add 12 decibels to the system, and the body plot would then go upwards 12 dB, and at this particular frequency, the gain would be 0 decibels, and past that point, the system becomes closed loop unstable. So the gain margin is positive 12 decibels. In the second part of this exercise, the question is, what is the value of k that it would give a gain margin of 20 decibels, as opposed to 12? We concluded from the first part that when k equals to 5, the gain margin was 12 dB. And we want the gain margin to increase to 20 dB. Should k decrease or increase? Obviously, it should decrease, so the gain margin is larger. To find the new value of k that gives a gain margin of 20 dB, again, we need to determine the frequency for which the phase of the transfer function is negative 180 degrees. The only thing we are changing here is k, and k does not affect the phase, only affects the magnitude. Hence, the frequency for which the phase reaches 180 degrees is the same as the one we determined before, is 2 radians per second. Now our job is very simple, we can calculate the magnitude of this transfer function at that particular frequency and equate this to 20 dB and then find the value of k. The magnitude of this transfer function is k over j omega, the magnitude of j omega is omega, the magnitude of j omega plus 1 is square root of omega squared plus 1, and the magnitude of j omega plus 4 is omega squared plus 4 squared. This is the magnitude of the transfer function. We want the gain margin to be negative 20 dB. The gain margin is determined as negative 20 log of the magnitude of the transfer function itself, which is k over omega, omega squared plus 1, omega squared plus 16. And we want this to be 20 dB. And this will occur when omega equals to omega f, which is 2 radians per second. We can now divide this 20 by this one here, by this negative 20, so we have log of this expression equals to negative 1. We can then take the power 10 of both sides, and the power 10 on this side eliminates the log. So that it now gives k over omega is 2 times 2 squared plus 1 times 2 squared plus 16. And this is equal to 20 divided by negative 20, which is negative 1. But remember that we, we took the power of 10 on both sides here. So this is 10 to the power of negative 1. Now our job is very simple. The only variable that we don't know is k. And the value of k that satisfies this expression is k equals to 2. Which is indeed smaller than 5. And when k equals to 2, now the gain margin is 20 decibels as specified.